Hello and welcome to a guide by Miner in Age of Empires 2 The Conquerors. This one is part of the civilization lot, and this is the Aztecs. So first of all, the Aztecs unique unit is the Jaguar Boy, which costs 60 food and 30 gold. And it has 50 health, 10 normal attack and 1 zero armor. And it moves a fairly fastish pace for an infantry. If we were to go to the Imperial Age and the upgrade to the Elite Jaguar Boy costs a thousand food and five hundred gold. And that gives it an extra twenty-five hit points, an extra two normal attack, and only one extra melee armor. However, if I just get all the blacksmith upgrades that the Aztecs can get, they can get all of them. So now the Jaguar Boy has sixteen uh, attack and five for armor. However, the Aztecs unit technology is Garland Wars, which gives an extra four infantry attack. So you can see he's on 12-4. Now he's on 12-8. So this Jaguar Boy, Elite Jaguar Boy, has 20 attack, which is pretty good for an infantry. And it's great against units such as Teutonic Knights, who have a lot of uh, attack against infantry and a lot of armor against infantry and of course you can get squires to increase the speed of the jaguar warrior now the history behind garland wars is essentially when the aztecs were around there were many tribes and every so often they would end up getting a bit of a drought and they would lose a lot of food so the way that they would counteract that is they would have these wars called garland wars garland be, being the flower, in which lots of people would fight each other and try and capture them as sacrifices to their gods. So the person with the most kills or most captures would be the person that would be most respected within the army and the community. So obviously units wanted to be able to do the best they can in these wars. They would be a bit more aggressive and that led to them being better fighters which is shown in Age of Empires as the four extra infantry attack. Jaguar boys also get an attack bonus against other infantry. The team bonus that the Aztecs get is that relics ga gather an extra 33% gold. So you and everyone on your team will get an extra 33% from relic gold. So if I garrison this and start my timer, it was originally at zero gold, and when it gets to 10 seconds, it would normally have 10 gold, but let's see what it's at 10 seconds now, which is, well, which is now, and at the point of 10 seconds, it was actually about 14 gold, so originally 10, and it would be about 13 gold due to discrepancies in my timing. The bonus that the Aztecs can get is that in matches such as random games is they start with this eagle warrior as opposed to a scout cavalry and theoretically eagle warriors are better than scout cavalry they only cost 20 food and 50 gold whereas the scout cavalry costs 80 food so you, it could be more expensive or it could be less expensive depending on whether you count the gold as an expensive thing however they have five more hit points four more attack and the same armor that a scout cavalry do however they do move fast as opposed to scout cavalry mo moving at a medium speed they eagle warriors also have a larger visibility range so they can see much further which is quite useful early on in the game i think the scout cavalry can only see about here which isn't so great Another bonus that the Aztecs can get is that villagers carry an extra five resources. So normally in the Dark Age, very early on, they would only be able to carry ten of each resource. So ten gold, ten stone, ten wood. But if we see this miner, he's going on ten, but he's going past it. And he'll end up going to fifteen, and that will be it. The same also occurs for food, however much they can get from food. 
Another bonus that the Aztecs can get is that all military units, no matter what they're from, the barracks, the castle, siege workshop, archery range, they are all created 15% faster. So creating the Seeker Warrior will be 15% faster than the Mayans will be able to create their Eagle Warrior. Now, a, t a bonus that only the Aztecs can get is one also to do with monastery. And you get various technologies that can be researched, but for each technology that is researched at the monastery, the monk goes up by five hit points. So, for example, just pop Aegis on. If I search Redemption, the monk is now on 35 hit points. Search Atonement, now on 40. And if I do it for all of these, it's on 55. Now Sanctity gives an extra 50 monk hit points, they yeah, are 50% monk hit points. However, it doesn't matter um, at what time you research it in relation to the others, it will only add an extra 15 hit points onto the monk and then an extra 5 because it's a technology that's being researched. So currently on 55, now on 75. And I'm only in the castle age, but if we go to the imperial age, there's four more that can be researched, and now the monk is at 95 health. So 95 hit points in comparison to a possible 45 hit points that every other at, uh, civilization can get is pretty good. And so you do usually see Aztecs being played in random maps, random map games, as um, with there being monk armies trying to convert as many people as they can. Those are all the bonuses and unique unit and technology that the Aztecs can get. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next part, which shall be Britons.